Hello and welcome to the 12th video in the file system video tutorial series. My name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design. Now as you can see here the video is about understanding end of file or EOF uh, in file streams. Okay, in, previous, in the previous tutorial and previous tutorials we talked about fopen, uh, fgetc and then find end of file. Now we've learnt how to um, write to uh, to file streams. I'm going to start using this word now to file streams and also then worked out how to um, output data and so on using fgetc is getting every single char and we've also then gone through um, basically saying if fgetc um, is not equal equal to um, false therefore we know that we've reached the end and fgetc has returned false effectively it has reached the end of the file therefore it's got nothing further to to tell you okay now um, there is a function like I said the feof okay which is um, assisting you to find the end of the file okay so let's just start coding as we go through we'll start explaining this so as in previous um, examples we want to know that we're going to get um, a correct file stream and the file actually exists. Now in this case we're going to read from our fopen.txt um, so we can just say here if file exists path okay and then we're going to then say fp equals fopen and we'll say path and this time we'll use the flag of r which is simply just reading um, from it so it's reading only and um, we need to check before we start um, reading from this file pointer that it is actually a file pointer because we we don't want to get any errors okay so now that we do have this um, we want to make certain that we close our file um, stream our file, file pointer first of all okay so now that we're, we're going to do this we want to read then char by char still but rather than um, testing if char is not equal to equal to false um, we're just going to check check if we've reached the end of file basically so we're going to make our while loop and we're going to say here not because we want to know that we're not at the end of the file and the the feof function takes one argument which is then the file handle the file pointer which we received from fopen okay and it will return boolean it will return true or false it will return true when it reaches the end of file and it will return false when it doesn't therefore this while loop will keep loo looping as long as we um, don't reach the end of the file okay now you have to have a valid file pointer for this while loop to actually break okay otherwise it's just going to loop um, on forever basically so it's important that the file pointer and the file has been set correctly on the disk which is not really something you need to concern yourself about um, if you're writing to disk with um, with PHP and so on there's other reasons why it wouldn't uh, but it, using using these methods that's not going to happen okay um, using just reading from a standard file on a disk all right so that's going to continue to loop now if we don't call uh, f get c or if we don't read from that one file stream okay it's going to loop forever therefore we need to make certain that we um, move the file pointer on one every single time we loop um, to make certain that at one point we do reach the end of the file therefore um, you need to make sure you do this correctly so every single time um, we it loops round we need to know that we're moving forward I in the file stream okay in the file pointer um, so we're then going to say f get c and that obviously as we know takes one uh, argument of the file pointer itself and then we're going to say if ch this has got nothing to do with the end of file by the way if is um, equal to if char is equal to backslash n okay we're going to output echo, um, echo we're going to output break else echo char that's just because in our file um, as previously discussed it was then essentially inside of the file it was one two three backslash n four five six backslash n seven eight nine backslash n is what we wrote to it in the previous examples therefore um, we want to just uh, output HTML ok 
okay and um, therefore we're changing then the backslash ends to a break tag instead I think really to do with um, finding the end of file okay but essentially if you are reading from a file whatever you're executing um, you want to loop and loop and loop until you find the end of file okay so now that we've done this we we'll just save it come to the fs.php and as you can see here path has not been defined because I deleted it which wasn't clever um, we just had get uh, current working directory and forward slash test and um, we want then fopen.txt okay my mistake so let's go back again and as you can see it outputs everything that we want all right um, that's uh, essentially it there's a lot more to end a file tha than just this okay but what I didn't want to happen uh, was that it's a lengthy video um, because essentially all you need to understand is is tell this file stream or, or every single time you call fgetc you're going to read a character okay but you want to know at what point that disk has reached the end of file and told the operating system I've reached the end of file and your code then is talking to the operating system and saying hey have you reached the end of file yet and it goes no okay good I'll take I'll get the next char if you ask the question in the background to the operating system say hey have you reached the end of file it goes yes you know your code can stop looping now essentially that's that's what it is so it's that communication between the operating system and the disk asking each other have you reached the end of file yet no good give me the next bytes and so on so it's it, it's essentially a flag all right which gets sent to and from um, the operating system and the disk itself all right I would suggest having a little bit a uh, read a little bit more about it of what the end of file is um, but don't concern yourself too much because you do have a function there available to check a, a file stream now I don't want to um, mislead you in any way uh, this method of doing it okay at the moment is working with um, actual um, uh, data on disk alright that's what we're working with there's other examples for reading other um, data within streams um, but this example is all about reading from data from a disk okay um, and that's just what I want to make clear okay um, essentially that's the video my name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design uh, I hope you got something out of it um, this was all relevant to then the next video which we're going to do as well okay um, so look forward to um, the next video which is about let me just quickly read here is uh, about reading data um, from a file line by line rather than char by char okay but we needed to know um, what the end of file was uh, prior to doing this next one video okay um, all right I'll see you in the next video and uh, go to the right thing okay bye bye